Right, in this video I'm going to decide what the best modifications are for the John Cooper works. Let's get stuck in. Right, you'll very quickly realise that I basically haven't done anything to my car. I may have changed one or two things, but it's still stock wheels, it's still the stock ride height, it still basically looks exactly the same. There is a reason for that, and I'll go into that in a second. But, let's start with ride height. So, on my car, you can see, it's, sorry, I did, sorry, I cleaned, I cleaned it yesterday, it, I've driven it 0.2 of a mile, and it's already got mud all over it, but we'll carry on with that. These are obviously the standard wheels, but the standard right height as well. They do, they are quite, they are quite high, if I'm honest. And also, they could probably do with some spaces if you're looking at it, because look, that's really where the arch is, and they do sit in. You can see how much they bulge out on these wheels, though. So obviously, if you imagine being near the curb, be please be careful with trying not to hit the curb. But yeah, look, you can see they uh, they really do step out quite a bit. So um, we do we do probably need some spaces just to pop them out a little bit, make them look a little bit wider from the back. Now. What's the reason why I didn't actually um, lower my car? Well, probably two things. Number one, I didn't really want the ride height to be hard and horrible, uh, which a lot of people probably say, oh, you don't get that with lowering the car. If you get uh, adjustable call or something like that, adjustable call are quite a bit of money, and to us, I couldn't really bother by doing it. And they weren't going to give me enough uh, to really warrant actually wanting to do it. Um, the second thing, I put quite a bit of my own money into this car, and so I really want it to come out of the car. Right, one thing you must get is the pro tuning exhaust if you haven't already got it. If you come down here, can you see I've got the pro tuning exhaust? It's given away by, it almost looks like there's like a little overlap, it's kind of like encased in something else, um, but that has got a valve on this side that opens up and it, I, I guess it kind of just by bypasses a muffler or something um, and makes it a hell of a lot louder. Right, it's time to uh, do some revs and all that. Let's show you. I would absolutely recommend doing it. It just, it, I don't know, it just makes it sound um, a lot more throaty, a lot bigger, and actually, uh, pops and bangs are so much louder when you've got that exhaust. hundred percent recommend that. Now, for those of you that are lucky enough and have got the brand new John Cooper works, you probably, if you chose correctly, have these lights. Can you see? Now, ah, there you go. If I get in the sun, can you see? Now, they look like they lit up. Those little bits light up. The little indicator kind of comes through there as well, and there is a reversing light. Now, the reason I've got that is because a company called Mulgari did it for me, uh, because I wanted to update the car. Now, when I came to sell the car, whatever it may be, uh, I have put quite a bit of my own money in here, so I actually want to try and keep some of that money. And so, best thing to do, try and upgrade it, make it look like it's a bit newer. And um, so people who are thinking, oh, well, I was looking for something newer, thinks, well, actually, it still looks pretty new as well. And even if you've got a personalised number plate on it, you probably wouldn't know at all uh, that it's different. Apart from the front lights, they're a little bit different. But I definitely recommend doing those, those back lights. Right, you will see a lot of people with what I think they call it a pro-tuning body kit or extras. They give you a slightly bigger splitter, they give you maybe wider arches, possibly a different side splitter, and at the back they do give you a proper big kind of splitter, like a race type splitter. Now, I haven't done that, you can see, and if I go down, I haven't done that, I've left it stock. Um, I think this makes it a little bit more aggressive as you come outside. Now, should you get that one? It's a, it's a good option to have, totally personal preference. If you like it, get it, if you don't, don't. You know, it's, it's up to you, this is the perfect thing with minis, it's up to you. And also, while we're here, Crow, crow, and move around the back. Crow. Big, big debate about whenever someone says, "I'll oh, modify your car, make sure you get it modified," and I say, mm, well, "Okay, what do you think I should do?" And they say, "Dechrome it." Now, dechroming is one of those things which is quite personal. If you want it, great. If you don't, don't do it. That's what I, I feel. Dechroming does look good. For example, this car dechroming all probably would look pretty mean. Um, you can see, especially on the, on the front row, see how much, uh, how much chrome there is on the front row as well. So it would look really cool. Um, but again, it's totally personal preference. Um, but it's one of the, the, the go-to modifications. If someone ever asks you, oh, what are you going to do with your car? And you say, don't know. They'll probably say, get it de-chrome. So again, it's up to you, but it does look, it does look pretty cool. Though. I, I, I do admit. While we're in, what are we in? Feb. And the weather is so nice. It's like 12 degrees or something. Look at my well, my watch for 12 degrees. Anyway, don't worry about it. In the car, it says 12 degrees. Um, and it's so nice. It's sunny. I thought I'd show you something. This is probably not on the forefront of your mind for modifications. So I think you're really looking. Uh, sorry to interrupt myself. It's really super windy. So I'm going to 
come over here where I've got some protection and talk about it. But anyway, so what I was going to say is, um, one modification that I think you should probably do is a ceramic coating, a type of paint protection, uh, PPF, paint protection film, is a really popular one. It's a lot of money though. Um, but yeah, at least a ceramic coating. So get the car detailed really nicely. Weird. Get the car detailed really nicely. Get all the scratches, anything like that, out of the car. And then get it ceramic coated and make sure it looks nice. But why ceramic coating? Well, ceramic coating is, although it's quite a lot of money, it's probably a couple hundred quid for, for a mini. Um, a, it keeps it looking nice. When you come to resell it, it looks nice. People think, actually, all that looks really nice. It's nicely kept. Uh, number two, it makes a lot less time when you come to clean the car. And now, what on earth is that? Mm, loud. Um, what it is, is it's a protective film that goes over the top, or protective um, coating that goes over the top of the paintwork, protects the pores of the paint, so when water comes on it and dirt, it does run straight off. It's really effective. There is a lot more detail to that, but that's a basic principle of it. And it is really, really effective, so I definitely think you should get that. And it lasts around about wait, three to five years. Depends on how you look after it, how well they do it, but around about probably three to five years is probably a good shout for it. Right, it is so, argh, uh, argh, uh, right, it's so windy. I'm gonna get inside. Come on, I'm gonna get inside and I'm gonna talk to you guys from here. Guys, that's what I think you should do to your car, but it's totally up to you, it's your choice. And make sure to like and subscribe to the video, but for now, I will see you soon. I'm sorry.